Fallon Divas and welcome back to the week here on the No Model Slush YouTube channel of it all. I'm super thrilled about today's video because it is a requested video from one of you darling divas by the name of Hadia Hayes. Hey girl, hey Hayes, what's going on? Um, you requested that I show you how to make off the shoulder tops work appropriate. So here I am delivering girl. I hope that you love this video and I hope that it's going to be super helpful. This is just a disclaimer that if you have a style of clothing or anything that you want me to style, leave it in the comments, slide in my DMs, and I will be sure to make the video if I can. If I can make it possible, I'm definitely going to try to deliver. So without further ado, Hadia, here's your video. Okay, so not all off the shoulder tops are created equal. So I think that before we get into the styling, it's important to talk about the type of off the shoulder top that would be great for the workplace. Now, there's so many different variations of an off the shoulder top. You have ones that dip real low and show some of the girls. You have the cold shoulder top, which is pretty much an off shoulder top that has straps. Um, and the one that you're looking for is a pretty standard one where you can pretty much adjust what you want to show and what you don't want to show. So that top is going to be the best top for you. I have one here. And this is the top that I'm going to be using to style in the video. This is from Fashion Figure. I got it in the Dia box many moons ago. And what I love about this one is that you can pretty much adjust where you want the neckline to go. If you want it to be high, if you want it to be a little bit lower, you can pretty much adjust that. And this is the kind of top that you want to wear for work. Because you said you want it to be work appropriate, I'm assuming that you definitely need to be a little bit more modest, a little bit more conservative. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that it's something that is not showing too much of the girls, but maybe you want to show a little pop of cleavage if you wanted to maybe wear this look straight after work to a night out or something like that. Um, so a top, a pretty standard cold shoulder top like this has a pretty high neckline that you can pretty much adjust how low you really want to go. You feel me? And so a top like this is definitely the one that you want to go. You want to make sure that it has some length to it because also there are a lot of uh, off the shoulder tops that are cropped which is perfectly fine for the weekends and for summertime and all that good stuff. But when you're on the clock, you definitely want to have a little bit more length to it because you want to make sure that you are not crossing any dress code violations. Hi, dear girl, I'm not trying to get you fired. So you want to definitely make sure that it has some length to it like this one has here. As far as color and print goes, I would stick to prints that are a little bit more simple. Like the striped one here is a very simple print that can go with a lot of neutrals for your work wardrobe. Pretty much consider these stripes to be like a striped blouse, like a typical striped blouse that you would have. It just has a different kind of hemline to it at the top. Um, and so you want to go for more neutral colors. Maybe a power color to throw in there to switch things up. So power colors such as red, um, yellows, oranges, but you want to make sure that it's a solid. You, want, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that it's a solid color. Make sure that it's a rich, deep, powerful color if you want to add a pop. But if you're somebody who is a little bit more on the conservative side at work, I'd be, I'm not really sure which kind of way you want to go. Um, but if you're a little bit more conservative at the workplace, I would go with colors such as white, navy, brown. Um, very muted and understated colors, but can still, you know, make a pop. For this video, I'm going to be using this striped one because I feel like stripes are really perfect for the workplace. They are a way for you to make a statement, but still be, you know, on your P's and Q's while you're, you know, clocking in and doing what you got to do. Um, so if you're looking for some suggestions or some cold shoulder tops, do not worry. I'll be leaving some of them in the blog post so you can refer to all of that at the end of this video. So now that we have spoke on the type of cold shoulder top, now let's get into some styling. What I have created for you is two different looks that you can wear two different ways. So I guess you can say kind of four different outfits, but typically at the end of the day, it's only really two. Um, so let's first start off with pants. Now because um, the neckline is now elongated uh, due to the fact that you're you know, stretching it over your shoulder, you're creating some more length up at the top, widening it out a little bit. So since you're widening it out at the top, you want to create some balance and also widen things down at the bottom. So I would suggest you wearing the cold shoulder top with a pair of wide leg pants. And no, I am not just throwing this in this video because this is my favorite pair of pants. Y'all know how much I love these wide leg pants, but no, seriously. Um, if you have not tried to rock a wide leg pant at work, I definitely recommend you do so. Try something a little different. Now, I think that the red complements the black and white very well, um, but if you have more of a stricter uh, color code at work, you definitely don't have to wear red pants. Um, wide leg pants come in a range of all different colors, black, uh, cream, beige, 
maybe and don't you worry about it of course I'm gonna be leaving you some options down below but I think that if you are flexible with work and what you can wear a little bit but it has to still be like business casual I would try to rock some color especially if your top is more of a solid you know a neutral color so a white uh, blouse I would definitely try to shake things up in your work wardrobe and maybe try a red pant or a yellow or some type of printed pant um, as long as it's wide leg because I really do think that the wild is going to look fabulous um, with the off the shoulder top. So let's quickly take a look at outfit choice number one. Okay, so not bad, right? Not bad. Now this option is great for tucking the shirt in. But I know that not everybody likes to wear their tops tucked in. I like to wear my off the shoulder tops tucked in because especially when I'm wearing it with pants like these, I like to really show off my figure. But I definitely understand that not everybody's on that part of their styling journey quite yet. So I've also come up with an idea if you don't want to wear it tucked in. Not a problem girl, I got you. Basically wear it not tucked in, but since we're a styling channel over here on Oneness Plus, I just can't have you put a top with a bottom. So I think that you should also layer it with a blazer right on top. Now you're probably wondering, if I layer with a blazer, isn't it gonna take away that off the shoulder detail? While this is true, a blazer also adds some sophistication. It also adds a little bit of layers. If your office is cold, because I know that sometimes the AC is bumped up in the office, a blazer will be great for what you need to keep warm. Um, and also, you can just remove it. So if it gets a little warm, you can remove it and then have the little shoulder out. Or if, or if like I said, if you're going out to an event or a party, pretty much you can wear the blazer, but you can take it off. What I like about jackets is that you pretty much don't have to commit to them. What I like about it is that the cold shoulder top kind of has like a rounded um, neckline. It's going to look really cute in between the blazers. So I think you should definitely give it a try. The thing about cold shoulder tops is that they're tops. So you definitely do not have to wear them with the cold shoulder feature. You can definitely wear them under things and wear them like a regular top. So here is outfit number two of the first look with the blazer on top. two looks down so idea how am I doing am I doing good so far am I doing good so far let me know all right so next up I think that um, a off the shoulder top is gonna also look great with a skirt now what kind of skirt very good question I think it's gonna look amazing with a midi skirt a midi skirt is perfect for the workplace because it has a little bit more length but it has that very fun flair so it's kind of like you know, a little bit of mixture of business and pleasure at the same time. Um, a lot of the times, sometimes women don't like to wear skirts to work because they might be a little bit short, they don't want to show a little bit off. But with a mini skirt, you can pretty much have the best of both worlds where you can wear a skirt and rock a skirt, but the hemline is not going to be a problem. Um, so basically I have this beautiful velvet midi skirt here, which I think will complement the stripes very well. And I think that a look like this is perfect for the springtime, okay? Skirts and dresses and all that good stuff is so much more fun to wear when it's warm out, but you don't have to be bothered with tights and boots and all that good stuff. So definitely take this time to rock a skirt at work. So really quickly, here is how the look looks like with the off the shirt top paired with the midi skirt. Okay, so what happens if you don't like the tucked in version? You know, wear your shirt tucked in. No problem, you know I have an option for you. What you can do is wear a midi pencil skirt, or I guess you could say a pencil maxi skirt. I'm not really sure of the official title of it, but basically a long pencil skirt is, is what you want to go for. Now, I'm fully aware that this is a dress, but being that I do not have a pencil skirt that I was talking about and referring to, um, we're pretty much going to do use some layering magic to make this uh, a, a skirt. So just, just, just imagine with me right now, okay? 
basically, since this has more of a straight structure to it, if you layer anything on top of it not tucked in, it doesn't disturb the flow of the outfit. The reason why I like to tuck things into skirts that are flared is because I don't want my top to disturb the design of the skirt. I want it to flare out and like you, like you see today, I have this top tucked in and my skirt flared at the bottom because I want to just pretty much have my outfit just flow and I want to show off my beautiful figure. Um, but with a straight pencil skirt like this, if you layer something on top of it, it's pretty much not going to disturb it because that's pretty much the flow of how the, the dress is going. It's going straight up and down. So if you put anything on top of it, pretty much it's going to flow whether you tuck it in or not. So I know this is a dress, but watch how I transform it into the skirt that I have in mind. Idea. That wraps up my tips on how you can rock an off the shoulder top to work. I hope that this video really helped you out girl. Thank you so much for the suggestion. You really pushed my creative juices so I'm really appreciative of that and I thank you always for your support and for your love. Like I said, if any of you Donna Divas have any suggestions of what you want me to style for a video or anything like that, give me any piece of clothing and if I can do it and make it happen, I got you girl. Leave all your suggestions and comments down below or if you want to, you can shoot me a message either on email or in one of my DMs on Instagram or Facebook. Whichever platform that you want to reach out to me, definitely do so and I have no problem um, hooking you up with a couple of styling tips like I did today for Hadia. So. For more information on anything you've seen in today's video, pretty much what I'm going to be doing is giving you a couple of links to some variations of what I have here on the fashion rack that we talked about. Feel free to go visit my blog at www.zatnoisplus.com. The link for this video will be down below. So that wraps up Wednesday's video. You already know we're not done yet for the week. Be sure to come back here on Friday for another brand spanking new uh, video. I love that tater tots and I will see you ladies on Friday. Peace.